Yo what up guys, it's Artifacts and today I want to talk about another plugin of the Soundoise 5 library. This time I want to talk about Devil Lock. Now Devil Lock is a replica of a 1960 mic amp, I think. It's, it's a Sure amp, I'm not totally sure which one, but... It's an old Sure amp that they're replicating with this. It comes with two different versions. It comes with the uh, really simplified version, which is this one, and a, a little bit more advanced version, which is that one. Um, we're going to be looking at this second one, so I'm going to get rid of this first one, because it's basically just the same, except for um, it's just these first two knobs, and the more advanced one has three additional settings. So let's get into it. Um, I've got a little drum loop right here, and it sounds like this. And I might have to bring the volume down a little bit, because it might become a little bit loud in a minute. So, if I turn Devil Lock on, you're already going to hear a difference. Just listen. Um, I'm going to bring this all the way down to zero, and it theoretically should already sound different. So it already sounds pretty squashed. It's kind of like a compressor that's being pushed really hard um, until a, uh, up to an amount where it's actually gonna distort well really a lot that's kind of like what it sounds like and um by its own it sounds a little bit weird right it sounds like super crushed and super distorted but when we bring the mix down that's actually when we well where the magic is in this plugin so See how we just brought up everything and actually made the transients a little bit quieter, but it just sounds more fat and more in your face. And um, especially when you want to, you know, you want to like dirty up old breaks and stuff like that, to so that they work in uh, drum and bass or anything like that. Um, if you want something to work in a heavy genre, you might have to apply distortion. And I find that this one on drums, at least, is a really good one because it really crushes the drums and it kind of like gives you that edge that, well, I like a lot about harder electronic music. Um, now it also comes with the crunch knob and it's kind of like doing the same thing but, well, slightly, in a slightly different way I guess. Um, it really sort of emphasizes the distortion. And you can really go crazy with this, you can really <laughs> make it sound super weird. But um, then we also have this release knob. Um, I think it kind of like acts like um, in a compressor, you know, when you have a compressor you also have the release, which um, tells you how long it will take before the level is back at its original volume, before it started hitting the threshold. I think that's actually the same thing what's going on right here. So you have, well, you can choose between a slow and a fast release. So yeah, the fast release just really brings it up much quicker. Um, I guess the slow one is a little bit more transparent, even though this is already completely destroying the sound. I mean, it's not called the audio level destroyer for nothing, but um, I do think this 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 thing has its use, not only on drums, but also on vocals. You know, if you have a really, really distorted, really heavy track, and you have a really clean vocal recording, that might not necessarily work, the vocal might get lost between all these heavy elements and if you just add a little bit of distortion to that vocal using something like this it might actually, well, be loud enough to overpower the other instruments and, and thus be heard in your mix, you know, that's a really, really important thing. Um, now, there's one more knob in this plugin and that's called the darkness. 
what happens when you distort things a lot, like what I'm doing right here, you introduce a lot of upper harmonics, because what distortion does, it's essentially it's just creating more harmonics based upon the sound that you've already got. So when we bring these two crush and crunch knobs, knobs up, we're essentially just creating a whole bunch of additional harmonics that weren't there before, or maybe they were there, but we're now just amplifying them. And what that will do is it might actually introduce a lot of harsh high frequencies. You might not necessarily hear it immediately, but when you're hearing t or listening to it at a, for a longer period of time, you're definitely going to hear it. Your, your ears will not not like it. Um, and when you bring up that darkness knob, it's just going to it's it's going to roll off some of that high end. So that sounds quite distorted, right? Um, if we now bring the darkness up. You can really hear it's kind of like dulling the sound a little bit, so it's really shaving off those high end, those high frequencies. Um, you don't want to do too much of it, I guess. Um, probably the mix would be a little bit lower as well, and then you could apply some compression afterwards to bring it a little bit closer together to kind of like gel everything together. But I feel on drums at least this is a really good plugin. Um, even if you're just, even if you, you know, you have a track going and you just feel like your drums need to have a little bit more of an edge, just put this on here and just bring the mix down to like, I don't know, like one or two or somewhere like that, where it's just adding a tiny little bit of it. I mean, already we're now at what is it? Well, almost one. Let's set it to exactly one on the mix. Um, this is without. And this width. It just evens it out. It sounds much better, in my opinion. Um, it kind of depends what you're going for, you know. If you're going for a more clean sound, you probably want to stay away from something like this. But if you're, wanna, if you're going for a much more aggressive sound, then this is something you want. Um, so yeah, that's it. I hope you liked this video. It's not really a long video this time, but there's not really much to talk about. Um, there's no additional settings we can dive into in this plugin other than most of these sound those plugins um that's it for this video i'm actually uh, i haven't been posting too many videos recently um that's basically because i'm i've been doing a lot of things um i'm working on a new sample pack which is going to be a drum sample pack aimed at well mostly drum and bass neuro funk neuro hop maybe glitch hop and dubstep as well but it's really aiming at the more aggressive sounds the more aggressive drum sounds that you hear in electronic genres these days um i'm working on this sample pack and it's really sounding well i love the sound of it i've i started making it just because i need a whole bunch of good samples to begin with and um i felt like you know i wanted to release this so i'm now turning it into an actual actual pack that is good enough to be released um, I've been working really really hard on it this break loop is actually part of that whole sample pack as you can see I've got a whole bunch of break loops and there's a lot more um, there's a whole lot more in here um, percussive loops a bunch of hi-hats and you know just a whole lot of things I've got a whole lot of foley sounds that I recorded myself um, that's all gonna be part of the pack, it's definitely not done yet. Um, there's a lot of work, you know, it's a lot of work to make something like this, but I think it's definitely gonna help a lot of you guys out there. So, um, so yeah, that's it for this video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Help me to bring this channel up to 50,000 subscribers, that would be absolutely awesome. And, uh, I hope you like this video, and I'll see you back soon. Peace.